This video will help you with your practicing counting in tens and ones, but also your place value. All you'll need is some paper, two different coloured felt tips and a black pen. You'll need to start off by tearing the paper so you've got two piles of 11 pieces of paper. One pile will be for the tens and the other will be for the ones. You'll need to write zero to nine in two different colours for each pile. Pause the video here and copy the puzzle piece you see on the screen. Once your puzzle piece is drawn, choose a number from the 10 pile and place it in the middle square. Then, choose a number from the 1's pile and place it next to your 10. Get your child to read the number. It has 5 10's and two ones, so it's 52. We're going to start off by finding one less of 52. To find one less, we know that the ones will be changing, so the 50 stays the same. And one less of two is one. So our number that is one less than 52 is 51. The next thing we need to do is find one more than 52. So again, we look and know that the 50 will stay the same and one more than two is three. So one more than 52 is 53. This time we're going to find 10 less than 52. We know that the 2 in the 1's column will not change. And 10 less than 50 is 40 by counting back in 10's. So 10 less than 52 is 42. The last thing we need to do is find 10 more than 52. Again, we know that the 2 in the 1's column will not change. And we need to find 10 more than 50, which we know is 60, as we count forwards in 10's. Once you have completed your puzzle piece, get your child to say out loud what they can see. So, 1 less than 52 is 51. 1 more than 52 is 53. 10 less than 52 is 42. And finally, 10 more than 52 is 62. Repeat this activity to practice the following skills, counting forwards and backwards in ones and tens, the place value of two digit numbers, finding one more and one less, and finding 10 more and 10 less. 